that this is Goku's famous weakness of letting his guard down. That could make him so weak that even normal rocks that Krillin threw when he was sleeping can hurt him. Same goes with the lasers and such. So yeah, guys, if you didn't know, Goku's biggest weakness is when he lets his guard down, he's susceptible to damage. This is why he was taken out by Sorbet's laser in Revival of Frieza. This is why a fucking random rock hurt him when, uh, in the Cell games when he was resting and Krillin like, threw it at his face or whatever. And this is also why he got scarred by the bullet. All the Heralds, but basically these guys are like you know planet busters to star busters yeah now, exactly this would include guys like uh most of the post-crisis justice league like superman flash and green lantern and martian manhunter and all them right these guys mm -hmm. fall in that range of like planet to star level ish um right. those guys they maybe in earlier like dragon ball z and stuff they might have presented a challenge for goku but now they're just still getting stomped because you know he's still way more powerful way faster more skilled than the majority of them so he's gonna for, beat down those guys um for superman um i didn't really want to get into superman in this video but would you agree that superman has many different consistencies in writers yeah he's extremely inconsistent um when i say superman i'm talking the uh, basically what he's consistently shown as a uh, highball basically okay that's fine uh he clearly has you know crazy showings and lower showings as well like there's one scene where he couldn't even fucking catch bullets and then the next scene, he's tagging the Flash or some shit. So yeah, guys, if you didn't know, Goku's biggest weakness is when he lets his guard down, he's susceptible to damage. Uh, this scene is clearly plot and due stupidity. The style, before even learning what key control even was numerous times, this can easily be labeled as simply plot and due stupidity. Although the bullet is more plot and due stupidity, because even if Goku's guard was down, he was, should be able to still tank the bullet, because even as a child when his guard was down, he didn't even know what a fucking bullet was, he was still able to tank it to the face with absolutely no diff like with no damage.